I was a digital writer producer at WABC TV Eyewitness News, uh, which is the ABC affiliate in New York City. I usually left my apartment in Jersey City, which is right across the river, 7.30 in the morning. Got on the train to the World Trade Center. Got there probably around 7.56. From there, I was probably underneath the North Tower, I think. Probably around 8.30 is when I had sat down to work, took my bag off, and that's where everything began. Uh, I heard a shriek from our news director's office, and we all looked at the monitors. And when you work in a local news station, you often have feeds, because there's cameras all around the city, so you can see everything. There's no sound. We just saw the plane, and we saw all these papers coming off from the top of that thing and, and smoke. Then we had another feed that was near the ground, near the street, down by the World Trade Center. We just saw people running. I tell my friends and my family this, the human brain is not wired to see things like that. You see things like that in the movies and you never think that would happen in real life. And it was right in front of me in, in real life. And I, I started to cry in the first five minutes, but then I, I had work to do and I was able to block it out. A lot of my coworkers couldn't do that. You know, people react to, to trauma different ways and things of that sort. Our transmitter was on top of the North Tower. The two highest points in New York City are the North Tower and the Empire State Building. So our transmitters were up there. And so unfortunately, the guy that worked our transmitter died because he was trying to, he called the station and said he was getting ready to leave. And then the, the line just went dead. The one thing, I think when it really hit me, is when I was finally able to go back to my apartment, my landlord ran outside and hugged me because she thought I died. Because I, I couldn't come home for four days. I wore the same clothes for four days. We all stayed in random hotels. You know, our whole neighborhood, you know, it kind of, it affected all of us. Uh, we had two people that, that died in, in the attack and it kind of brought the whole neighborhood together. We were all watching out for each other. The same thing with the city too. You know, it really brought, the whole event brought the city together. It was one thing that kind of galvanized all of us. For the longest time, I didn't talk about it. I didn't talk about it with my family, uh, my wife. I didn't really talk about it for, for, for at least two or three years. And now this is a time that's, I'm able to open up about it. It was a traumatic experience that made me take a different perspective on my life. You know, how can I help? What can I do differently? You know, how can I be a better father, a better husband, you know, just a better person? I realize that now, and all the blessings that I have, I don't take them for granted now. And I've, I've truly learned a lot from that day, just like everybody else did, too.